Hi all, welcome to Coach Monken's weekly press conference. This week we are previewing our matchup at number 14 Cincinnati. So Coach, if you can open us up with an opening statement and then we'll open it up to questions. Good afternoon. Uh, we're, uh, we're excited about the opportunity we've got this weekend to play against a great football team. Uh, very well coached and and uh, certainly has the uh, the respect of the college football world. They've, they've been uh, one of the best teams in the country here uh, in recent years. And uh, can't say enough for the job that Coach Fickle's done. He's, uh, he's an outstanding coach, has a great staff, a veteran staff, and they have a big athletic um, and fast football team. They, they're, uh, they're really an impressive group, and it's going to take our very best effort if we're going to have a chance to win. So our guys are, are practicing hard. It's been nice to have uh, an extra week. We really kind of set our sights on on Cincinnati when the uh, when the game against BYU was postponed. We, we, were, we were hopeful that we could uh, get another game rescheduled, but when that didn't work out, it really gave us the opportunity to dive into the game plan for, for Cincinnati. And, and uh, it, it's going to take – it's going to take the rest of this week and, and our very best effort, as I said, if we're going to have a chance. We'll open up with questions. We'll start with Rich DeMarco. Hey, Coach, uh, just what type of opportunity does Saturday present for your program? I think any time um, we have the opportunity to play a ranked, a ranked team, and we've had that opportunity several times, it's, uh, it's just a, it's an opportunity for us to test ourselves against – one of the best teams in college football, which they are. The back-to-back 11-win -back seasons uh, is really impressive. Um, they've, they've got some big wins uh, over you know, Power 5 teams. and I mean, they're just an impressive football team. Um, they've got – I was talking to another coach in their league, and just uh, – he, he was mentioning the body types that they have, just the guys they have on their team, how long and, and – uh, it allows them to to have guys tight end type guys outside linebacker types that are really long they run good and and it helps them on special teams and those guys have position flexibility and uh, it's really just going to be a, a tremendous challenge for us and to play a team the, of this caliber with the the respect that they have around the college football world um, if we could find a way to win the football game be a be a huge victory for us and coach, with no game this past weekend, how has that affected your team's health? Any guys expected back? Any changes on that front? I hope so. Um, I don't know that there's going to be a, a lot of roster changes or uh, we're in a, a whole different place this coming weekend than we were two weeks ago. In fact, there's a couple of guys that got nicked up in that game that we're not, we're not sure about and uh, some guys that have gotten uh, injured in practice that uh, – are still a question mark. So I'm, I'm keeping my fingers crossed and hopefully we'll be uh, as healthy as we were in the last one. And we, we still, there's still some guys that uh, we'd like to, to get all the way back to, to being healthy enough that they can play in, in football games. And there's some of those guys that aren't there yet. Thanks, Coach. Next question from Charles Grievous. Uh, good afternoon, Coach. Um, as you, as you mentioned in your opening statement, the Bearcats are a very athletic squad and uh, with notable speed uh, across the board. Uh, however, many observers are saying some of the same things about this year's Army team. Uh, that being said, would you consider this to be uh, the most athletic or one of the most athletic Army teams under your leadership? And if so, uh, does that allow you to be more creative on both sides of the ball, perhaps more than previous years? Charles, I don't know if I would – be able to to say that th this is the most athletic team we've had or the fastest team we've had. I think we've got some good athletes. And we've got some fast guys on our team, but I think just comparatively speaking with the with the team we're getting ready to play this weekend, I don't know that uh, I don't know that on paper it's a great matchup. I mean they're they're they, they have uh, a two deep listed and they they provided that to us and I mean, they're, they're 10 offensive linemen. All five starters and all five backups are all 300 pounds. And they got one guy that's 6'9". They got a guy, you know, that 6'5", that, uh, 330 pounds or something like that. I mean, gosh, it's just enormous. And, and then they've got a bunch of tight end type bodies, as I mentioned, 
that really give them a lot of versatility and they play in different in, in different places on the offense and and uh, they've got a host of running backs uh, when you when you have a two deep and they list four running backs you know they got some guys that they feel pretty good about um, and then defensively just uh, coach fickle's a defensive coach and and so his influence on the on the program the toughness and and the the physical style of play all comes from him and they they really play great defense and uh they they uh, they have some experience against this offense which uh you know i wish they'd never seen it before and didn't have any idea how to defend it but he's a good coach and and uh they've got players on their team that played uh against this offense in the past so uh, it's going to be a real challenge they they uh They've got a good team, an athletic team, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, dare try to compare our team to theirs. But you know, we've had some some guys in the past that have graduated that I think have been pretty athletic and pretty good players here, and and uh, I, I think we've got some guys on our team this year and guys that have developed and grown up through the program that are that are really starting to uh, to become the players and the athletes that we hope they would. So. I, I like our team. I like our, our team a lot. I, I, I love their attitude and their effort. Um, but I think we've got an athletic enough team and a fast enough team to, to be able to do the things we're asking them to do on both sides of the ball and in the kicking game. And, and my follow-up and final question, uh, this is the first opportunity for both yourself and Cincinnati to face another ranked opponent. Uh, from your perspective, is there any additional – or heightened emotion or anxiety that you believe your team will be feeling come Saturday, particularly after after you were off uh, or or postponed last last Saturday. Oh, I don't know if if we could. I don't know if we could be uh, put into a, a a more exciting position in week three, or I guess this is week four in our third game, than to play a, a team of of Cincinnati's caliber, and. Uh, the national rankings came out several times in several different publications from all the way from last January where they put out the way too early top 25 and, uh, and all the way up till this week. Uh, they're, they're mentioned in every single one of those. There's, there's not one that I could find where Cincinnati wasn't ranked. So th- this is an outstanding football team. And, and one that we're going to have to be really prepared for and play extremely well to, to even be positioned to win the football game. So it's an exciting opportunity for our players and, uh, and certainly you know, to, to have a, a matchup like this on national TV is, is, a, is uh, a great opportunity for us to, to showcase West Point, this great institution and in our program. Thank you very much, Coach. Another question from Rich DeMarco. If, Jeff, the fullback position, how confident are you now a couple of weeks into the year? Obviously, Sandin, three touchdowns the first week. Jacoby, the 100-yard game, two touchdowns. How do you – I know that's such an important position. How do you feel about it two weeks in? I, I'm, I'm happy with all four of those guys. I think they're all playing really well. And um, I think Sandin, having the most experience, uh, certainly gives us um, – the most versatility just in all the different things that we do on offense and what we ask those guys to do it's it's a position that that is more than just running the football they've they've got a lot of responsibilities and in uh in the running game and in the passing game and so i think all four of them are very capable and i think anthony atkins who probably as we went through camp was a little bit farther out of the pack from those guys has really closed that gap. He's he's just practiced so well the last three weeks and uh, and gotten a chance to play and and when they get into games, those guys get more confident and, and I think certainly he has and we've gotten more confident in him. So really uh, really pleased with all four of those guys and and uh, I think we'll continue to to play all of them like we have been. Great, thanks, Coach. Questions from Ken McMillan. Hi, Jeff. Um, is Cincinnati similar to Ohio State, Oklahoma, and Michigan of recent years? And if so, philosophically and strategically, how do you game plan to beat these types of physical teams? 
they're they're very similar to uh, to the Power Five teams we've played, just in their size, their speed, uh, and how well prepared they are. They they do a great job with their their program. Luke has, I mean, he's turned that into a a, a big time football program, um, and and they're very impressive. To game plan for uh, any opponent, it, it doesn't change. Our, our game plan uh, thoughts don't vary based on the uh, the conference that the team we're playing comes from. It is uh, it's purely on our guys what we think our our players can execute against the team that we're facing, whether that be their offense, what what things we want to do defensively to try to attack them, uh, or it being our offense and, and looking at the defense we're going to play and, and how we want to attack that defense. So uh, it, it's it's far less about um, you know what, what conference they come from than it is just who they are and, and what we think they're going to do uh, with their schemes. Uh, Jeff, you've been mixing in a lot of young players. Is this on par with recent seasons? And what are the short and long-term impacts? We've had a chance to play some some guys, and we've been fortunate the first couple of weeks that we've been able to build a lead in the second half that, that gave us the, the ability to do that. And I think it's great to be able to get those guys' experience. I, I think the experience pays off not only – for games coming up this year, perhaps this weekend, or, or games to follow, but certainly for seasons to follow. And the more experience they get, the, I think the, the more prepared they're going to feel, the more confident they will be. In, uh, in 2015, we, we only won two games, but we played a lot of freshmen, and, and more out of necessity than we did out of uh, just the desire to, to put them in the game and get them experience. Uh, that that wasn't a great formula for winning winning games that year. We were very young and and obviously inexperienced and and outmatched physically. But it paid off in the years to follow. And a lot of those guys that played as freshmen then started or played a significant role the next three years. We won 29 games. So I think there's a payoff uh, probably into the future that uh, that's going to come from this. At least I hope. And I think we've got some good young players that that are making a contribution. Those there's there's obviously some guys that have already made some plays for us that that uh, have have impacted the game. And and I think those guys will continue to improve the more they play. But being able to get the other guys in is is uh, something we want to do. And and perhaps we'll find a guy that that we weren't sure about or uh, or just get him experience for uh, for when we need him down the road. Thanks, Jeff. Any further questions for Coach? Uh, Jeff, if I may, uh, can you offer a few words about Marquell Broughton and what he's brought to the team this year? Mar I think Marquell is, uh, is a tremendous leader. That, that's recognized not, not just by me, but I think everybody in our program, our coaches and players, see him as a leader. Uh, he's super positive. He has a... Uh, just a a deep sense of pride in being a part of this team and and in being the best he can for everybody else on this team and uh, I, I just I, I like him a whole lot as a person uh, he's he's a tremendously hard worker works in the weight room and the individual drills in the classroom on special teams he just does everything he can to contribute and and uh, and he's He's a good player. He's a talented player. So uh, I'm excited he's here, and and uh, it's nice to have a guy like that that's 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 right now playing so well and making so many plays. It's only a sophomore. He seems really grateful to be here at West Point. I'm really grateful to be here too. The people line up from here to New York City to take my place. So I'm really glad to be here too. Jeff, how did you spend your? I'll call it an off week, but did you give yourself a break at all? Uh, myself, personally? Yeah. Yeah. I, I went home uh, 
Uh, we had a, a, a little scrimmage on Saturday morning. I went home on Saturday afternoon and hung out with my family, which was fantastic. Uh, on Sunday, I went to church, and then in the afternoon, my, my, uh, my oldest daughter took the whole family out to uh, this, uh, this waterfall on the other side of uh, the river over in Cold Spring, which was really pretty and nice to just be outside and spend some time with the family. So, yeah, I took a, I took a little bit of a break. Don't get that very often in the, in the season, but I really enjoyed it. It was, it was fun to, uh, to be able to spend some time with my, with my kids and my family, my wife, and my, my, uh, my parents who are in town. How important is it for you and your coaches to get a break like that? Everybody needs a break. Players need one. Coaches need one. Everybody does. It helps us. I think it just helps you recharge your batteries and, and, and refocus uh, because it can become a grind, and, and, and coaching is that way. We, we spend an inordinate amount of time at our jobs and early mornings and late nights and recruiting, and it can be very consuming. And, uh, and our, our, our families, my, my wife and my kids deserve to, uh, to get some time with me as a family and uh, I said to some other coaches that that uh, other head coaches that I talked to I said you know my my wife and kids might not care if I'm around but I sure like being around them so uh, it's nice to get a little time with them and it just a weekend like that just gets you I think excited to get back in the office and get back to work thanks coach thanks thanks everybody